Welcome to the demonstration of one of the key acceleration features, the acceleration of CGNAT session setup and logging with NP7. To deliver security that keeps pace with the scale and performance demands that our service provider customers face, the NP7, which is the seventh generation of Fortinet's custom-built network processor, provides acceleration for some core service provider features, and the first of which is the CGNAT hardware session setup and logging. With the hardware acceleration that NP7 provides, we get consistent ultra-high performance of 2 million connections per second per NP7. And not only that, because this is hardware accelerated, we see predictable and linear performance with low latency which we'll show in the upcoming demo. But first, let's take a quick look at the theory of what session setup acceleration actually means. As you see with the pink highlighted part to host session setup, this actually means that the SYN, SYNAC, and ACK for TCP sessions, or the first packet of the session for UDP sessions, would typically need to be handled in the CPU. As you can see, the session then gets accelerated for data traffic, which is pushed to NP6 for hardware handling. Now on the right side, you can see the huge difference now with NP7, where all the session setup packets are accelerated by NP7. So let's dive into the demo next. Most of our service provider customers are using the 40K as a CGNet or GI firewall device handling millions of connections per second with NAT, and for compliance needs, they typically want to have logging enabled for every session. Now, if logging is handled by the CPU, typically this impacts performance, and hence this is a unique feature of the NP7 processor where both of these can be accelerated by hardware. First, let's take a look on the left panel where you see the CPU, memory. These two will be monitoring the CPU and memory of our 40 gates so that we can show you how the hardware acceleration doesn't impact CPU utilization or memory at all. And below this, we have the bandwidth logging, which shows the total bandwidth of logs that we are sending from the 40 gate. In the middle with the two speed dials is the avalanche. And this is the testing tool that we are leveraging to send a large number of TCP connections per second to test the hardware acceleration. And on the right panel, we have some breaking point ports. And these we have used to measure the total number of logs sent from the 40 gate. The main reason for this is that for every single connection and every single NAT connection that we are doing, we are sending a log message generated from hardware. And we use this to show and measure that we haven't lost any logs. Now let's start up the traffic. And the test will run for a total of five minutes where we will look at the overall traffic and log statistics. For this test, we are doing CGNAT with SPA single port allocation CPS test. We are targeting a total of 8 million connections per second. And as the sessions have ramped up fully, you can see the response time for the TCP sessions, which is 0.4 milliseconds of response time. Let's also look at on the left side with the CPU monitoring of zero CPU utilization on the 40 gate. And we are also not utilizing any memory at all. So all of the sessions are fully accelerated by NP7. We are generating a total of 21 gigabits per second of log traffic and 8 million logs per second, so EPS rate as well. We're coming to the end of the test, and as you can see, the results are pretty clear. All of the sessions were opened and closed properly and closed without any error. And not only that, the total number of sessions that you see there are equivalent to the total number of logs sent. What this means is that all of the sessions had the corresponding hardware generated logs sent out. So for some of our service provider customers where 
this unique feature is needed, and accurate logging for every single session for compliance is needed, this is going to be an absolute game changer. Thanks for watching our demo today.